Hello, my friends. We're here once again with another video for you, my soldier brothers and sisters. How's everyone doing today in a galaxy far, far, far away? This is your first time on the channel. Of course, make sure you hit the subscribe button for all your soldier fun news and sometimes guides and updates right here, right now. My friends, the Apex server is live. Ray Ray did a video about that. But oh my goodness, I did not realize how popular this server would become. Because, I'm not sure if I put in the thumbnail, if not, but whatever. At least it was in my mind. Uh, if you're looking for a Star Wars The Old Republic classic, this is as close as you are probably going to get with this game. You're starting from scratch. The GTN has not been completely inflated like crazy. You're, you, have, you don't have your billions, you have zeros. Yeah, you do. You have to go in again. Now, yes, if you're like me, who like when I started this character, I have 66 emails in there because of all the subscriber rewards from God knows when. Yeah, you have a little perks here and there. But for the most part, you're starting fresh. Your legacy is zero. And I like that. And a lot of people like that. And so far, there have been lots and lots of people talking about how much they are loving this refreshing uh, atmosphere, this refreshing, nostalgic view of Star Wars The Old Republic. But, my friends, this is again another time this, that Broadsword now needs to latch on to this Get the PR machine going and market this sucker like crazy. Because back in the day when we had an APAC server and they got rid of it, a lot of people left. I scoured the forums today looking for stuff to talk about. And then I saw a comment in the forums that I'm like, dude, I totally agree. So we're going to get into this comment. We're going to talk about it right after. Let's get into it. And Trixie Triss replies to Jackie O, the community manager of Star Wars of the Old Republic. They said, hopefully you guys have already done or are in process of doing what I'm about to suggest. But just in case you haven't, here it goes. I was looking through the old Dalbora server forums. It reminded me of how many loyal fans abandoned SOTOR after Bioware closed the original APAC servers. If you haven't already, it might be a good idea to s scrape the old APAC server accounts databases for all the email addresses associated from that period. The same goes for the old Harbinger ones as well. And then send out a promotional email inviting the players back to the new APAC server. Because, so far, word of mouth hasn't been enough to really get out the word. I've spoken to a few old timers who didn't even know there was an APAC server. The first thing all of them said to me, why didn't Bioware send me an email let me know in advance? End quotes. They didn't know it's broadswords now. So, if you really want this server to be successful, and not a waste of time, please, please... By the gods, send out some emails. The current social media influencers aren't going to be enough because most of the old timers from that period don't even know who they are. Edit. It might also be a good idea to send a separate email first to explain that Broadsword has taken over SOTOR from Bioware or that may, or they may think it's a scam. Winky face. Trixie Triss, that is a great and brilliant idea. I have a bit of a reach. I know I do. So Teresa has a farther reach as well. I know she just put out a video about this uh, as well. And I know there's not tons of us anymore doing content for this game. But there are enough of us to make a squabble. To, to make a ripple in the pond. Trixie brings up some great points right here. This is another opportunity for Broadsword. Now Broadsword. An opportunity for Broadsword to get the marketing in place. Scouring, getting the old emails, it might take some time, but in the long run, when it comes to marketing for a game, which is sometimes in the millions and millions and millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars, it's a lot cheaper. It might take a little bit more time, but it's a lot cheaper, but they bring up a great point. Email the people who left and let them know that yes, Bioware no longer runs Star Wars The Old Republic. It's now Broadsword, and yes, Apex server is now up and running. That would be a great idea. But too many times in the history of this game have has Bioware. I'm not going to crap on Broadsword because it's not Broadsword's problem. Well, it 
well, we'll see how they do with this one, right? But Bioware and EA have been horrible at marketing this game. Now, in the very beginning, of course, they had some pretty awesome looking commercials, but in the but as time went on, and especially you know in the last let's okay, say seven years, marketing for this game has been abysmal. It really has. And you kind of like, well, why the hell do they not market? And you had like, uh, I don't know, all the Star Wars stuff coming out, right? With with the uh, three Star Wars movies, the post quills, I like to call them. That you know, eh, they kind of divided the crap out of the Star Wars community. But still, it's Star Wars. Star Wars is there. The hype is there. Why not? Why not say, hey, we have a great story as well in the Old Republic. You should come here and try it out. Do your thing. They missed a great opportunity there. Mandalorian came in. Yes, they put some stuff in game, but they didn't really go, let's latch onto this uh, cow and milk it as well. And they didn't do it. Another failed opportunity right there. This is another great opportunity for Star Wars The Old Republic. Broadsword, I hope you're listening. I think you might be. I don't know. I'll have to get my people on it. This is a great opportunity for you guys to get in and try to get some of the old players back. There's only so much we doing videos and content can do. It's the other people who don't really watch a lot of like YouTubers and, and podcasts and stuff like that. The normal everyday folk who left the game because like, oh my gosh, I can't even play this anymore. Blah. I have no idea what's going on. This is a perfect opportunity to launch a campaign to get those people back. Email. So old school, but that is one of the best ways to do it. Another great way, start running some commercials. Do it. Do it on like, I saw someone else in the forums talking about going on Icy Veins or MMORPG or, well, you can't go on Wowhead. That's completely different. But if you start campaigning and marketing to these websites that have a broader reach to a broader audience, I think that'll bring more people in, especially when we have a brand new server, the Apex server, where things are nice and fresh and kind of like how the old days used to be. Now is the time. I challenge you, Broadsword, if you are listening, and you better be listening. Jackie, I know you watch these. Star Wars The Old Republic, everyone over there. Now is the time to get that PR hamster going on the wheel and get this thing going. Don't miss another opportunity to market this game and bring more people into the game. This is You've got to stop missing the opportunities. This is a great time to do it. And this member right here, Trixie Triss, had a great idea. And I suggest and I hope and I pray to all things unholy that you follow what they say and you go in and you do it. Like I said, I'll continue to broadcast to the roofs that the Apex server is live. Make sure you share this and let your friends know. And for the rest of us content creators that are still doing content for Star Wars The Old Republic, there's plenty of us out there. I do news, so Teresa does some news and guides and Volk. No, I'm not sure what Volk does, but he does a lot of guides and stuff like that. Guys, there are plenty of people still out there. In the SOTOR world doing content, share our videos, let your friends know. SOTOR is still here. We have new owners, and we have a brand new server, and things things seem really nice right now, honestly. Do the thing. You guys know what to do. Put your comments in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on all this. What else should uh, Star Wars, Star Wars, what the heck, Broadsword do to get the marketing campaign going? I know it's a very small uh, studio. They don't have lots of money, but there are ways they can do it without spending the cadrudles of money. But let me know your thoughts down there let's keep the conversation going make sure you hit that like button the more likes we get the more the algorithm likes us and of course we want it to like us and make sure you hit the subscribe button become part of the family here at Booby nation the freak show of youtube the black sheep of gaming and as always my friends learn to be kind it's about community and don't forget to spay new to your wookies we'll see you later my friends good day